Hey guys, my name is Akira and welcome back to my channel. This is Amplify Her Dream. And this is a long awaited video and a much needed video that I have been putting off making. But I think it's time I suck her up and make this video because it is new year, right? So if you're interested in what I got to say, then just keep on watching. So just a quick little history. I know a lot of you guys have come to my channel because I was on hair videos, cosmetology talk videos, and that is that was very much so a part of my life. And I enjoyed doing those videos. I enjoyed sharing what I knew with the people who you know wanted to be in the industry or was considering but scared of what other people might think. So I wanted to be that that um that voice of reason to kind of help you guide you in the direction that you wanted to go. So that's where my brain was behind it because there's a lot of things that I wish I knew before I started cosmetology school that no one had told me or that I wish I was warned about. <laughs> Because in cosmetology school, they don't really set you up for success in the in a sense. They really don't. They don't teach you the business side of it. I know my school didn't. Um, they don't teach you the business side of it. Um, you leave out of school not really knowing how to do a lot of things. And I went out of came out of school and I'm like, oh, I still don't know. I feel comfortable doing the haircuts and all this and that. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. So yeah you guys know why i started that it's not what this video is about and i don't want to make it too long so um i start making hair videos i'm doing hair yada 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 and you guys know back in probably may june ish something like that i made a video um or maybe it was even before that i made a video saying that i was considering other cosmetology other beauty um options in the beauty industry or whatever and you guys know the whole background of the whole waxing place what happened with that if you guys have not checked out that video i'll probably link it up above somewhere <laughs> so you guys can reference that video and kind of know what i'm talking about and get caught up to speed you know so um in I've been putting off making this video because I didn't want to disappoint a lot of you guys who watch those videos and love, you know, those videos. Those videos will always probably be up on my channel. I probably won't take them down because I know that they will help people still to this day and they're not going anywhere. So you can always reference those videos. But if you have any questions regarding cosmetology school, I still have people hitting me up on those videos you can always um email me and my email is always on my page on my videos um you can find me on instagram i'll put it up on the screen and yeah i'm look i've been there done that okay so long story short i'm saying that to say is i'm not in the industry anymore like i don't want to be <laughs> you know it feels so weird saying this i'm not in the industry anymore I have no desire to be in the industry anymore at this moment. I don't. And however, I am going to keep my license current because I worked hard for that. And who's to say down the line, I may want to still practice, you know, do hair. And I'm not going to let that go to waste because I don't feel like doing hair right now. But that's just what it is. I have one client that I take and that's like once a month. And I probably will always take her because I just, I just love them. They're like family. So, um, I just don't get excited thinking about doing hair anymore. And that's just that chapter of my life right now has closed. And for a long time, I felt bad about saying that because I didn't want people to judge me like, you went to school for this, you spent all this time, all this money, and you're not even doing hair anymore. Like, what happened? Why don't you want to do it? And it's nothing against the industry, not at all. I just, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't satisfying me as I thought it would. Um, and it could very well have been that I didn't find my niche in the industry or 
I don't know. I think I found my love for doing hair is when I start doing my hair. And maybe that's what it is. I like doing my hair. And I don't be feeling like doing other people. <laughs> this sounds so jacked up. But I like doing hair when I feel like doing hair. I don't like to be pressured into doing hair. So that's where it just took the fun out for me. Um, so I'm not in the industry anymore. I still do work at the beauty the professional beauty supply store i still do that um for right now but like i said in my vision board video i do plan on starting a business this year and that is taking up a lot of my time my focus um my mindset that's where i'm at right now so even just thinking of doing hair that's just not where i'm at right now my extra time goes towards youtube and planning my business that's it so and of course you know my mom or whatever and stuff little things outside of that but for the most part i'm not doing hair anymore um and i don't want this video to come off to discourage anyone who's on my channel who wants to do hair or in hair school my life path my journey is different from what is supposed to be yours if that's something that you truly want to do you will find out if once you get out there with anything if this is what you're truly passionate about who's to say once i start my business this is something that i'm gonna stick with i might be like mm, i don't like doing this that's what life is about it's about journey and trying out different things to see what what you like um so i don't want this video to discourage anybody on being a cosmetologist i'm still rooting for y'all y'all can always comment under my videos y'all can stay on my channel stay subscribed like i said the videos that i'm putting out now can apply to any of you girls who are chasing your dreams and that's what this channel is about it's all about women inspiring and motivating women to chase their dreams that's what it is so we're gonna be doing some planning we i got so like i love how i cultivated my channel to be because i love the things that i'm sharing with you guys this is like things that i really do um enjoy doing like i'm doing the planner thing now that's a part of it i'm still gonna be throwing out youtube tips for those people who want to see those videos all types of things and even some personal self-improvement videos that's what my channel is about because um they all tie in together it's all about amplifying my dream okay so and I'm just excited for what's to come. And like I said, I don't want this video to discourage any of you who are going to cosmetology school. Keep right on, keep doing your thing. Um, continue to stay encouraged. I know cosmetology school is not easy. And like I said, I'm keeping my license, okay? Because who's to say down the line, I might not want to do hair because I might, I don't know. So yes, I'm keeping my license, but I'm just not doing hair full time anymore. Um, it's just not something that was satisfying me um so yeah and i didn't want to make this video super long i just thought it was time for me to put this video out here because like i said i have a lot of you girls that come to my channel because of those videos and i am beyond thankful for you guys because that's how i got a lot of my subscribers and um if a lot of you guys are new on my channel you found me because of my newer videos you guys can go back and check out my um hair videos and stuff like that too um it's totally fine i leave those videos up for a reason um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope some of you girls still consider sticking around and um and still enjoying the content that i have for you guys and i may do future updates and stuff like that and i do need to film a q and a um, if you guys have any questions for me, please drop them under this video because I would love to do a q and A. I've had a few questions here and there, but I really want it to be a lot of, not a lot of questions, but at least 10 questions so I could do a full video for you guys. Um, if you guys want to know a few personal things about me, drop them down below. Um, and yeah, so I can get that video out. I would love to do that so you guys can get to know me a lot more. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.